Jesus today, brothers and sisters, share with you a dream that the Holy Spirit gave me, a warning um, to encourage fellow brothers and sisters who do want to walk in the Lord to be separate from worldliness and dead religion, and that we would not listen to the accusations of Satan. I had this dream, um, not this night, not this last night, but the night before, and I just wanted to share it briefly with you. So in my dream, I was at some kind of a um, Christian camp where there were um, thousands of Christians. Many of them were people I had been in contact with when I was in church from my childhood up until the point where um, I was a pastor in church some uh, 15 years ago. So my family, my entire family was at this church camp and um, I was warned that there would be a gigantic flood. And in this dream, I had um, kind of like a vision of water that is a huge um, surge of a wave coming over even the tops of the mountains and into the valley where this camp was, this Christian camp. And so I started telling people, but nobody listened. And I knew the judgment of God was coming on everyone. So I knew in my spirit what I needed to do was get my family out of that Christian camp and get myself out of there. So I told my family to go ahead of me, that they should take the car and um, head to a different location. So... <clears throat> My wife and my children got in the car and they headed out and I told them to call me when they were almost to the location I had told them. And so they did and several hours went by or whatever the case was and I got a call from my wife that they were in a safe location. <clears throat> and then I was going to pack up and also leave and get in my truck. But as I did in the dream Satan started to accuse me. And at the same time, the Holy Spirit was telling me, depart, depart. But Satan was telling me, if you depart, um, all these children are going to drown. All these Christians are going to die. And you will be held accountable because you did not help them leave. And the devil accused me to no end, saying, you cared about your family but you didn't care about these other children that um, are going to drown. And <clears throat> I knew it was an accusation from the devil, but it was very convincing, guys. Even though in my dream I knew it was Satan, um, I felt um, compelled to try to help these people because I just thought, I don't want anyone to drown. And I knew there was nothing I could do because I had already told them and none of them were convinced a flood was coming, even though in this vision I could see it coming over the mountains. So I got in my truck and I also left to go meet my family. And as soon as I left, the waves came over the top of the mountains and into the valley and the whole Christian camp was consumed. All of them drowned. All of them died. <clears throat> and that was the end of my dream. But what the Holy Spirit showed me about that with more clarity is how convincing Satan is to deceive Christians into um, not departing from evil, even after the Holy Spirit has told them to depart and touch nothing that is unclean. We know about the revelation of, um, <clears throat> of Revelations chapter 17 and 18 about um, the great harlot. We know the revelation of not touching what is unclean, not being part of dead religion, coming out of her, lest you share in her plagues. We know all of that stuff. But still, Satan will try to convince Christians that if they come out of dead religion, if they come out of church, they will be abandoning the flock. They will be abandoning their position. 
um, they will be abandoning true brotherhood and true sisterhood. And, um, and Satan basically tells them that God will condemn them for that. And so this is a very well-crafted deception from Satan to get people like you and me to stay in church, to stay in dead religion, not to listen to the Holy Spirit, not to um, depart from dead religion, because we feel this false conviction from Satan that if we leave, um, baby Christians will be dying. They need us. And it's just not the truth. If people have heard from the Holy Spirit, they need to get out of there. They need to depart from evil, depart from sin, depart from dead religion. But because a lot of Christians listen to um, this false weight on their conscience, um, they stay back with, uh, with people that are going to be dead in the flood. Um, imagine during the time of, of Noah, how many people would have been warned, yet it was only those eight who were on the ark. Now, if all of Noah's sons said, well, we want to um, stay back because we don't want all of these innocent children um, to be drowned in the flood, so we're going to try to drag them onto the ark. <clears throat> well, by the time God was closing the door, only Noah would have been in there. And all of his sons would have also drowned with the sinners in the world because they didn't listen to God that the flood was coming. And likewise, many Christians are going to drown with the flood of dead religion and the judgment that is coming upon the harlot church because they refuse to come out to sever themselves from ungodly Christians. They refuse to just obey the Lord and escape before it's too late. So this dream is an apocalyptic warning to Christians to separate from ungodliness, to separate from dead religion not to um, to listen to uh, those accusations from Satan that, um, you know, that you will be held accountable for all the Christians that didn't make it into the kingdom. The message has gone out to the world, guys, to touch nothing that's unclean, to be separate, to, uh, to make a difference between right and wrong, dead religion and the truth of God. And if you do not come out, if you are not separate from them, then the judgment of God that is coming upon dead religion is also going to come upon you and your family. So I encourage you to be separate. Touch nothing that's unclean. Put on purity and righteousness and be the true church with your family. But don't attend church. Don't do worship. Don't do any of those false rituals that are being done in the false churches across America and throughout the world. Touch nothing that is unclean and Jesus will protect you and he will accept you. But if you're part with them, when God's judgment comes, you will also be taken by the storm.